Hi guys, I'm Sarik and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. So on a special request, I'm making this video because you guys had been requesting for this video where you want me to compare business analyst versus data analyst versus data scientist. So today I'm going to cover everything about it, the common things and the difference, what skill sets are needed and uh, what is the salary and the roadmap and which is the best career for you to choose. So make sure you keep watching the video till the end. So let's begin. So I'm going to start with the common thing. So they all solve a problem. How they solve it and uh, what tools they use or what techniques they use is different. But they all solve a common problem, which I'm going to explain you with one example. Now take an example of a company, which is uh, say a holiday or a tour operator and they have seen through their annual report that their sales has gone down. Now, they want to solve this problem because they want to boost their sale. So what these senior stakeholders do, they need someone to analyze their historic data, which is the last year's data. So they bring in data analysts. So they will be looking at the data from the last year and they will be using different tools and techniques like connecting to the database to access the millions of records. And once they have analyzed the data, say for this example, they found out that Spain is not doing very well. Now they present all this data in a format which will be useful for the business stakeholders. So they can use reports or graphs or even they can build a dashboard for them. So once these reports are submitted to senior business stakeholders, they will sit down and analyze it and then together they make up a decision what is the best decision for their business how to boost the sales so that decision can be either fixing their current website or their business process or it can be anything so if it requires a money to do something they will have to write a business case and once the business case is approved they want somebody to take those requirements write it down and take it to the development team and that role is called as a business analyst now here, business analyst is a person who is a middle person between a developer and the business stakeholders. They understand the problems of the business, do a deep dive, do a deep analysis, and then document everything. And then they take it to the uh, developers and then developers code it. And once those changes are made, say on a website or an app, and then your changes are live. Then the business stakeholders, they will review the changes and they will monitor it to see whether the problem that they were trying to solve is fixed or not. If they see the problem is fixed, they close the business case. If the problem is not fixed, then they try to get more funds so that they can progress on it by fixing more problems so that their sales can do better. Now, one more thing which happens here is they need someone like data scientists who can make a model based on the current data so that the business can use it for the data driven decision. That is it. So this is in a very simple and plain language. If you don't understand any of the things which I have explained here, you can ask me in the comment section below. Now I will be talking about each of this role in a very deep now. So let's get started. Before we get into the details of this video, I did like to mention that this video is in collaboration with SkillUp. SkillUp is a learning platform by Simply Learn and they are now offering over 200 free courses to help you gain in-demand technical skills which could get you high paying jobs. The courses are self-paced and available from both your browser and their mobile app, meaning you can learn anytime and anywhere you want. The video lessons are prepared by industry experts and aim to help you fast track your learning. As you can see here, they have a variety of courses on introduction to data science, introduction to full stack development and many more that are completely free of cost. You get 90 days access to a free course. What's pretty cool is that at the end of each course, you will be awarded with a certificate of completion. These certificates are well recognized by the top companies globally for high paying roles as they prove your skill set in the in-demand skills like data science, software development and many more areas. So to start learning with SkillUp, check out the link in the video description below that directs to the sign up page. Now let's start with the business analyst role. So as the name suggests, this is business focus and they are middle person between a developer and the business stakeholders. So they are someone who works very closely with the business stakeholders by understanding the requirement and their job is to break down each of the requirements in as detail as possible for the developer and the testers. And they can write their requirements in different formats, which is called as BRD, which is a business requirement document and also user stories. Now, next is data analyst, which is a data focused. 
So someone who uses historic data, like I explained in the example, the data analyst was using the last year's data to analyze what went wrong and where it went wrong. So you will be someone who will be analyzing the historic data to find the problem and also generate insights out of it, which you can do by extracting big data, advanced modeling or prepare reports and present it to the business stakeholders. In some cases, you may be asked to build a dashboard as well. Now, moving to data scientists, this is model focused who will be using the current data to make the model so that the business can use it for data-driven decisions. And they also work with large data sets and identify data sets. They are also involved with data cleaning and they also conduct a lot of A-B testing as well. Now, what are the tools they use? So business analyst role, you will be using tools like Jira, Rally, Word document or spreadsheet to capture your requirements. And sometimes you also use mock-up tools like Figma, Adobe to draw your designs. And data analysts, you will be using SQL, Tableau, and Power BI. However, data scientists, you will be needing tools and programming languages like SQL, Tableau, Power BI, and also Python, R, and machine learning. Now, what skills are needed to do this job and how to make a decision which is the best one for you? Now, I'll start with business analysts. So here, if you're someone who don't like coding, but you have some good domain knowledge or you are someone whose communication skills are really good, like your soft skills, interpersonal skills, someone who likes analyzing problems, someone who's a detail oriented and critical thinker, this job is for you. Give a try. And some of the tools which you should start learning now, if you don't like MS Office, start with it. Basic Excel, Visio and Jira. This will be a good start for anyone. Now for data analyst, you, if you like data, stats and numbers, data analyst is for you. And this is a role which is a mix of business and technical. So if you're someone you also like business, you also like to be technical, this can be a good role for you. And here the communication skill doesn't need to be apt as long as you can communicate 20 to 30 percent well with the business stakeholders, that should be more than enough. Now, you should start learning now a few of the skills like MySQL, Advanced Excel, like Pivot Table, Tableau and Power BI. Now, if you are looking for data scientists, if you love coding, this is for you. If you love analyzing uh, data, you like playing with numbers, and if you're a hardcore technical person, definitely data scientist is for you. You should start learning programming language R or Python. And of course, if you can manage, you should also try to get yourself certified in cloud like AWS, Azure, and also learn advanced Excel, Tableau, Power BI, data modeling, NLP, Jupyter, notebooks. Now. Roadmap. So for business analysts, you can start your career as a junior business analyst. You can target the consulting companies. They do take interns and then they also pay really good. And then you can progress as a business analyst, followed by senior business analyst and lead business analyst. A lot of organizations, they have different roles as well, like head of business analyst, principal consultant, product owner and product manager as well. Now for data analysts, you can start your career as a junior or assistant data analyst followed by data analyst and then senior data analyst and principal data analyst. And also in some of the companies, they have different titles for this role like data engineer, data analytics engineer, business intelligence engineer, web developer as well, research analyst and database administrator. Now for data scientists, you can start your career as a junior data scientist followed by data scientists after a few years of experience and then followed by senior data scientists. Now, if you're wondering about the salary, I'm going to talk about the average salary here for the UK market. However, if you are uh, in a different country and if you want to know what is the average salary, you can use Glassdoor salary calculator, give the name of the job and your location and it will tell you what is the average salary in that particular area. Now, in the UK for business analysts, the entry level jobs, you can get anywhere from 25 to 35K. And for mid level, you can get anywhere from 35 to 50K. And senior level, you can get anywhere from 50 to 100K, depending on the organization you're working and your experience. Now, for data analysts, you can get anywhere from 23 to 30K as entry level and mid level 30 to 60, senior level 60K plus. Now, data scientists, you can get anywhere from 30 to 40K, mid level 55 to 80K, and senior level 80 to 120K. So you can see from this, if you want to earn a really good salary, you should stick to data scientists, followed by maybe data analysts and business analysts. So not too many of you know, but I have already worked as a data analyst before, and then I'm currently working as a lead business analyst. And one of the biggest mistakes which I have done in my career, I left the technical job. If I would have continued with my programming skills, I could have been a data scientist today and I could have gone 120K. 
So don't repeat my mistake. Go and start learning today. And if at all you are still confused about anything, please make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching my video till the end. And I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Till then, keep learning.